I'm psychologist Dominic Herbst, and I'd like to talk to you about fear and anxiety. I don't think anybody can live in this life with all of its pain and difficulty and challenges, especially in our most precious relationships, and not experience fear and anxiety at some point. You see, fear is a situation where it comes over me and then it begins to come inside me. And when it does, it begins to take over everything that I do. Now, we all get afraid at certain things at certain times. The fear comes and the fear goes. But when fear comes in and it stays, that means that there's something inside that's holding it there. And you and I may not be aware of that something. So let me talk to you about that right now. Let me talk to you personally about any fear that you may be having. Maybe you're afraid to speak up with people and your friends for fear that they will make fun of you or that they will think you're stupid or that you really don't have anything to offer. You're afraid be to make new friends because of that. Maybe you're afraid because you don't think you look good enough to be among the people that you're hanging with. And maybe you feel that you're not smart enough. There could be any number of these things. In some situations, you could be experiencing all these things at different times. And what happens is that you will avoid situations where you could meet new friends and people in situations where you would socialize and you don't want anything to do with that. Maybe you have a fear in, in school where you, you are so petrified when it's time to take a test that you always think the worst is going to happen. That no matter how much you prepare, you're going to freeze and you're going to feel as if all the answers will leave you in your mind. Maybe that fear is also causing a lack of concentration and a problem with trying to put thoughts together. And it even interrupts your ability to speak, to communicate with people. Would you believe I had all those fears? <laughs> I not only had all those fears, I had a whole bunch more. Fear can even create in a person anxiety, which is another word for fear, to the point that they have what's called a panic attack. A panic attack is where fear fills up your emotions so intensely that you are paralyzed in a moment or several minutes or even longer. And it's so powerful that it completely overcomes you and you don't know what to do. You know, many things that can cause fear in us, like a, maybe a spider or a snake or something, we, we can run from and get away. But a fear inside me, I can't run from that. Where I go, the fear goes. So these panic attacks create such a sensation of panic. Uh, I had them and I actually thought I was dying. I'm here to tell you that you can be free completely and healed from that fear inside you. You see, in my case, my fear was rooted in something that happened in my childhood that was so devastating, and I didn't realize it, but it had caused me to push it down instead of bring it forth so that I could begin the healing. You see, it was, it's called sexual abuse that I experienced, and maybe you've experienced that. And if you have, it doesn't mean that you're going to have panic attacks. However, I will tell you that if, if you did have that happen to you, there will be places in your life and interaction with other people that will be affected by what happened in your past or even what's happening to you right now. Now, that sounds very uh, foreboding, but I promise you, no matter what has happened to you, what may be happening, you can be healed from it. That you will be able to be totally free of that fear that owns you. The areas that fear also uh, occurs are in the place of trusting people. That's probably one of the biggest fears in all human nature, in all uh, mankind. Because if I have been betrayed and hurt and lied to before, especially by people that I really trusted, why would I trust new relationships in the future? 
And I must learn to realize that even though not everybody can be perfectly true all the time, there are those that can be trustworthy in a way that you can know their heart and that you can trust them sufficiently to know that although they will make mistakes, that you will go forth in a relationship with them. But if you have a deep fear of trusting people, you know what you will do because I have that experience, I had that happen to me. I trusted people that couldn't be trusted. I actually got connected with people that were more devastating to me than the people who uh, had already betrayed my trust. And unless we are willing to face that and look inside and walk through the pain that created that fear, uh, because it's not just sexual abuse. It might be something where you have been treated very, very poorly. You've been berated by someone who is your caregiver. Maybe it's a mom or a dad. Uh, maybe you've been physically abused. Maybe you were so rejected where your mom and dad provided for you, but they never really got into your life, making you feel like you weren't even important to them. I mean, if the most important man in your life, your father, and the most important woman in your life, your mother, even if they weren't important to you, they represent the two most important people when you're a child, if they aren't taking interest or pouring into your life, you're not going to feel confident to open up and to connect with people after you leave your parents or while you're at school and living under your parents. You're going to be very afraid to connect with people and to open yourself up and to become vulnerable. And it's becoming vulnerable that draws the hearts of other people to connect with them. The very thing that you want, the very thing that I want, we all want to be vulnerable to connect. And it's called knitting, where we really feel a trustworthy relationship. If you can look back right now or look at yourself right now and say, I don't really have a relationship that is super close, or I just have one that I can really trust that person, I might suggest that you look for the problem with fear and anxiety and know this, that I would be happy to walk you through the pain of your life, whether it be recent or long past, and bring you to a place of restoration of your soul and healing for your heart and mind.